All right, class, let's discuss economic policies today. First question, do you think Trump's policies will revive the economy? I'm not so sure. It feels like there are too many variables. Yeah, but the policies seem bold and we need big changes. Interesting points. Let's dive deeper. Okay, let's talk about tariffs, blue tariffs, bring manufacturing back to the U.S. No, but I don't really know why. Good question. Higher tariffs mean higher prices for imports, but even locally produced goods will struggle to compete because they'll still be expensive. But won't tariffs at least protect our local industries? Maybe, but consumers won't be happy about paying more for everything. Exactly. Let's think about the impact on both businesses and consumers. No more debt. Exactly. More debt might boost the economy now, but it's the younger generation that will have to pay for it. Is that fair? No, it doesn't seem fair. We'll be stuck paying off what others enjoy. But is it some debt necessary to keep the economy running? That's true, but it's about managing debt responsibly. When does it become too much? But we're optimistic. The economy will get better. Yeah, things always improve eventually. Optimism is great, but would you be willing to pay higher prices for everyday things? No, we want cheap things. Exactly. Everything would cost more, and it's not practical. So how do we balance optimism with economic reality? But Americans don't want to work for low wages, right? Who would want to work in a factory for minimum wage? Exactly. Even if manufacturing comes back, will people be willing to take these jobs? Maybe if wages go up, but then prices will rise too. That's the dilemma. Higher wages mean higher costs, and it's a cycle we need to consider. We don't want any more increases in national debt. It's like kicking the can down the road. Right debt has consequences, and it can impact your generation the most. But what if we invest in things that make the economy grow? Smart investments can help, but it's a gamble. We have to think about the risks and rewards. Let's talk taxes. Lower taxes for individuals and corporations sound great, but, but where does the revenue come from? Exactly, revenue comes from taxes, tariffs, borrowing, and fees. If taxes are cut, the government has to either reduce spending or increase borrowing. So we either lose services or go into more debt. That's the trade-off. Balancing revenue and expenses is never simple. But what about cutting wasteful spending? Great point, cutting waste helps, but it's not enough on its own. So there's no easy solution. Right, economics is all about trade-offs. Let's think critically about these policies and their long-term effects.